Good morning, Internet, and welcome back to the Chaotic Committee. It's been about 15 cycles. Most of the gas is out of here. Yeah, a couple of milligrams. I swept everything, but now we are uh, waiting on this volcano to go off. I cracked this open down to the magma. Uh, there's some sand and some obsidian over here. And I uh, shipped over some red pills because there was a whole bunch of radiation sickness. I went and made this sticker to uh, protect the dupes while they were doing all this, but now hopefully they will stay out of the way. What I'm really hoping is that this doesn't immediately pack itself in. I'm hoping that such a low carbon dioxide pressure means that this will stay as a liquid. But it's niobium, so it's probably going to explode. I went and dug out a bunch of this stuff just to let the carbon dioxide out. You know, so we got holes up to the top and holes over here. And yeah. Stuff to do over the last 15 cycles while waiting for this to erupt. What's that we got? Liquid-wise, that's copper, magma, gas, is still a little bit of sour gas. So I mean, there's some sand and mostly obsidian. God, I really hope that gas pressure doesn't mess with it. I mean, I suppose I can ship over some thermium and put in a robo miner and then just as, as that overheats fix it. Well I would ask for a boat but I think I'm just gonna slow this down. Everything's as hot as it's going to get. Okay, good. It didn't immediately turn into... <laughs> okay, that I didn't expect. That's... <laughs> okay, I was not expecting my opium column. All right, and now we have a new gas, which is a uh, rock gas. <laughs> okay, hands up, who expected the niobium column? All right, we have a magma and rock solidifying. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that is one way of getting through magma, is uh, a niobium column. Okay, do I have to wait for the rock gas to evaporate before I bring my dupes back in? Probably. Let's do this. Oh, well, they aren't immediately dying, so that's good. Oh, it, it melted the ladder. Of course it did. Oh, never mind. They're both getting fried. Okay, get out of there. <laughs> they run up through magma gas. Ah, they, they almost died. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Wait, is that niobium melt? Oh no, that's pressure damage. That was niobium pressure damage being broken out of there. Okay, well we're now waiting on vaporized rock gas to condense and get out of there. 
I, I was not expecting a niobium column. I'm trying to think of how I can use that. Like, yeah, the ladder inside of there melted. But now that there's some solids, I should be able to brick in. I'm just trying to figure out how I can get the niobium to fall into here or do pressure damage or something to break through the abyssalite. Well, I've got 15 more cycles to figure it out, and those dupes need to uh, sit on the healing bench for a while. How are these guys? These guys are all nice and healed up. And let's have them all hurt themselves again. They just love running through the magma to get to things. Alright, let's get you out of there. There's just got to be a better way of them getting there. But, I mean, really, they have done a good job of cleaning that area out. Hey, you ran up! Good for you. Right, how are the meteors looking? The meteors don't come in very often. Like this is, I probably reloaded two or three times since I shot off the temporal tear opener. And you know, a couple of meteor showers have come in, but not that many. So now I gotta think about what I wanna do next. These guys have gotta get healed up. I do wanna try to brick this in. Now that I've got some solid stuff in there, I think I will try to dig down and see if I can't crack open down to the ice section. There's just going to be a lot of scalding to make it. Alright, and you come back up. I think if I just kind of go like this, I should be able to get there. God, the saves are taking forever. Oh. We'll wait for them to heal, keep working the way down. And I haven't checked back over in here in a while. And like, the water level used to be up here, so it is slowly coming down. But somehow water keeps getting into my airflow tiles. That just seems like a game bug or something. But I put in a liquid filter so anything that's not salt water gets dumped up into here. Doesn't matter yet, but once this level comes down, there's some regular water in there. And how are we looking on... I had a bit of a carbon dioxide explosion, but we got... Quite a bit of uranium over here, I just haven't shot it anywhere. Radiation-wise, this is up to maximum hazard. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I didn't know there was a maximum hazard rating. Then I just went and switched these over to Igneous. I was getting some starvation warnings. Ooh, we're back to here. Seems to be about as much as you can do. Get out of there. <laughs> this is just gonna be my dupe's life for a while. Well, I have gotten down to here. The issue is a couple of these niobium tiles broke. So I'm kind of afraid as I start trying to dig down more that one of these might crack open. gonna be tight but you know I'm waiting on the dupes to be back on the healing bench again because yeah they're I am not treating these dupes well they're, they're doing a good job but their entire life for quite some time has just been swimming in magma and this time it's not even their fault it's my fault uh -huh. 
Where are you going, this bit? Oh, yep, heal the nade. as you can do. <laughs> oh, here, just eat more red pills. There's a little pocket of carbon dioxide there, but luckily when I cracked it open, some magma overrode it, so I didn't even have gas to deal with. Alright, another nine cycles. Another important thing is I'm down to my last good Atmos suit. I sh yeah, this is at 73%. I should be able to get it done. What's your ammo suit at? Really, do I not get to see what your... Eh, doesn't tell me. And dupes never look happy on the healing carts, but at least they have each other to talk to quite often. <laughs> uh, dupes. Nope, we got a printable. This is cycle 1600. Wow. I haven't been another meteor in a while. I don't know, but anyway. Got them down to here. Uh, abyss light will not melt. I mean, one abyss light does not exchange heat. Thermal conductivity zero, but it's melting temperature. 3421 and niobium 3226. So they're not, even niobium's 200 degrees too low to affect abyss light, if abyss light could be affected, which it really can't. I'm trying to see if just expanding that means that they can get through this. If this magma column isn't as tall, then they should be able to get through it faster. But as soon as I dig into that, it's going to be... Oh, thanks. <laughs> Well, there goes my idea of making the magma column lower. But yeah, this will be a whole steam explosion nastiness. Kind of want to time it closer to this, but I guess it doesn't matter if I make some tiles down here out of igneous. Get out of there. <laughs> uh, you just, you feel bad for him. Now that they're both back on the healing bench, I think what I want to do is make that an obsidian tile. I'd love to make that an obsidian tile. And that way hopefully the niobium can melt it or make these igneous. That's what I'll do. Make that igneous. Leave that. Trying to make like a fuse type idea where the niobium can melt through it and then get down into here without my dupes having to run back up through the steam. So I think that'll work. 
Yeah, because as long as these are in contact with something cold, the magma won't melt them. Well, it's an idea. Okay, something weird happened over here. You see this refined carbon? There used to be lockers. I then dumped out the clothing I rummaged. I think the clothing melted. What if I go for... That doesn't tell me. But I think what happened is the clothing melted, turned into coal, and turned into refined carbon. Because there was definitely no coal or refined carbon over here. I, I thought this was igneous rock till I clicked on it. That's something to investigate. Can clothing melt? Uh, Abe was almost up. I think they gotta take a nap and then Abe will come down and build these. Or not. I build those, that will make it cool. That will probably solidify some of this and turn this into a bunch of steam down here. Then I just gotta convert that one. I think I figured it out. If I make... <laughs> How? Okay, Abe, you get out of there and I guess we wait for that steam to go away because I guess some ice got kicked up backwards up into here before I could get that built. Okay. Well, first ex steam explosion out of the way. <laughs> ah, fun. My idea was I put that insulated tile there. I can then put that there. and dig in from the top and wait for this to be ready, but, you know, the steam explosion, that's, that's gonna cause some issues. God, the problem with them being in steam is, yeah, <laughs> she was not that hurt down here. Well, it is what it is. We are now heating up the ice. This is just going to make a whole heck of a mess. There's not much to be done about it. But while they're healing, hopefully a lot of the steam will escape out of there. Of course, this is going to be a bit of a problem. This is about to melt. Let's see what happens. We might be in for all sorts of explosions. That's going down in temperature? Sometimes the physics in this game is weird. I guess the snow is warmer than the ice and now the water is transmitting heat between them better than the solid ice was. Physics in this game is all sorts of weird. Oh, fun with experiments. So this igneous rock tile keeps going up in temperature. Even though the water has got more mass and is trying to take the temperature out of it. But this magma has got about 100 degrees, yeah, 105 degrees more than that tile can take. So, odds are that's going to melt. Okay, now the snow's coming up. Oh, my dupes. They're not going to be any part of this for a while, but the steam pressure is coming down. I think... 
thinking that is what I want them to do. Hi, right, Dave. You just got healed. Let's see how you do. Where are you going? That was like three quarters of his health right there. Not quite as much done as I wanted, but... Okay, good. That'll keep that rock... That tile from melting. Well, screw it. I'm just gonna pop these out of here and then probably get the dupes out of the way because that steam is gonna mess with everything. Darn. Second tile of water is just about to melt. And this water is just about up to boiling. So we've got negative 70 plus 100 and zero. Interesting that that turned into steam like that. So now we have salt, liquid, and gas all fighting together. Apparently steam is better at transferring the heat than the water. Almost had it. <sighs> the, the steam pressure is just too high. This niobium is never going to come out correctly. I mean, they're getting hurt just getting down there. But whatever. We got this open. That's what I wanted. We'll see if anything useful happens. I clicked pause in the middle of me talking. <laughs> we'll see if anything useful happens. I don't think the Niobium is going to make it. I think it's going to solidify up here. It's not even going to make it down there. Let's see this. Do we have... Sleep only. Yeah, I want to sleep up whatever we can right here. Oh, that's interesting. Bits of the ice are melting off. Like that ice isn't at the melting temperature yet, but the mass of the ice is coming down. No, no. <laughs> that is the game we're really trying to figure out what in the heck I'm doing. We got hot oxygen, hot steam, cold water, cold ice, warm water. God, I wish this steam wasn't here. Really want that niobium to flow off of here and melt through that tile. Yeah, he's getting scalded just picking that stuff up. No, I did as much as I could. So now we've got this hot oxygen layer that is kind of melting things. Yeah, everything over here is all sorts of weird. I was able to get that last tile of abyss-like dugout. How about like another two cycles? Yeah, I'm just having all sorts of fun with the game physics trying to figure out what exactly is going on. I mean, <laughs> look at that oxygen temperature. 
And as soon as the water flows down, it turns back into ice. But every once in a while, some warm water gets down here. And then that I should melt shortly. Well, that might be good. If this magma solidifies... Let's see if we can have more stuff. If this magma solidifies, then I should be able to dig this area up. But the steam pressure... Still too high. You get out of there. I mean, we see just how quickly the dupe got hurt coming down here and sweeping. But we're in the home stretch now. 1.5 more cycles. And Abe is just about healed up that I can use him to dig through here if I need to. So we ended up with some superheated oxygen but there's only a couple hundred grams of it, so it's not exchanging heat very fast with the ice. And Abe is healed, but I'm not gonna have him do anything. I think just before this goes off, I'll have him dig up this igneous rock. And that's about as good as I can do, but I think the steam pressure still in the hundred, you know, hundred grams is just going to make this immediately block itself in. But we will wait and find out. All right, time for Abe. Come on, where are you? Oh, you don't have a suit. Never mind, I am all out of suits. Talk about bad timing on that one. really is amazing. Yeah, that's not going to get hot enough to melt it, is it? And it plugged itself. Oh, that's what I thought. Well, since you guys are all out of suits, time to get them out of here. Thank you all very much for watching. I think I'm just going to have to wait for this. command up there. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to wait for the steam to go away, then come back in with some more suits. <laughs> you know. Yeah, we got steam, we got rock. Anyway, that was uh, actually kind of fun. Hopefully this will uh, break through of its own accord, and we'll uh, see what the results are later. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you just have a wonderful day, and yeah, Post in the comments if you expected the Column of Niobium to form.